Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel and of course the C-Band updates. These are the bug fixing updates that are optional have been released for Windows 11. So we call it the C-Band updates because they are in week C which is what Microsoft calls the different weeks of the month but um, so technically they were released uh, for testing last week and now officially released uh, for everybody. So uh, for Windows 11, 21H2 and 22H2, you have the um, updates available that um, do have a lot of bug fixes, uh, including some error messages and connecting with um, SSL and TSL's um, transport layer security and so on. Uh, certain problems with um, Edge with IE mode having problems. Uh, they also have uh, some fixes for title bars that affect third-party apps on the screen sometimes. Uh, Xbox game bar fix for audio. Um, and different other little fixes here that I'm looking at. It's a pretty, pretty big list of fixes. So if you had some issues or anything that had some problems, um, you might want to check out these updates. They also give a few features that are enhanced um, enhanced backup experience when you're using a Microsoft account. Some devices um, will have visual treatments for this enhancement. You also have context menu changes. So some of you will notice that uh, now when you right click on the taskbar, for some of you, you have taskbar, but the task manager will also pop up as one of the options. Um, it's interesting that I don't see it here, but they seem to kind of hint that not everybody has it immediately from the start. So uh, there are definitely some new uh, things uh, in here uh, and improvements also at the same time. They also um, have addressed an issue with the File Explorer not being uh, dependable when you were using OneDrive. So I've, I think I've had this issue. I was using the File Manager for OneDrive uh, files and there was some kind of weirdness happening. So I guess this will be fixed here. So uh, bug fixing updates. It's not security. Um, you can ignore it if you want. And uh, if you want them all, you just go to your Windows updates and uh, trigger the updates. Uh, since it's optional, you've got to manually say download and install, or else they won't install automatically. And it brings your version number to 22,000 um, dot something. I don't have the exact bill number for 20. 40 of version of 21H2, but on 22H2, it does uh, bring your version number to 20, 20, um, 2621.755, um, like in this case here, 22621.755. So check it out. Uh, some, uh, like I said, lots of bug fixes, and if you don't want them, just ignore. They will be installed anyways when you actually get the uh, Patch Tuesday updates coming up next month. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.